Symphonic Camp. Aja from Pandemonium came over to uh, our camp and put on a karaoke party for us. It was a great time, went on well into the night. So the karaoke party was a lot of fun. Um, and then the next day I had picked up a turkey breast from uh, the Roadrunner market in um, Quartzite. And, you know, we did a big potluck dinner for Thanksgiving, actually with about 70 people. But the problem with doing a potluck is there aren't any leftovers and I really love turkey. So I decided to go ahead and get a turkey and uh, make one up for myself so I could have some leftovers. Check it out. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share with you what I'm doing here today. This is my air fryer. This is about a three and a half pound turkey breast uh, with bone, no ribs, but it's still got bone in. And all I did was uh, I sprayed the, so I've already turned it. I started with the, uh, with the underside up, sprayed it with uh, some avocado oil, salt and pepper, uh, added a little bit of rub sage because I don't have any poultry seasoning. Um, so I started with the underside up, the inside up, and we did that for 20 minutes and then I just turned it. And uh, same thing, avocado oil, salt, pepper, and sage, and we're gonna put it back in now. Um, and I'm gonna reset the time. And then we're gonna check this again in another 30 minutes. So we're doing this on the air fry setting at 350 degrees. We did 20 minutes first and then took it out, turned it over, seasoned the other side, and then put it back in. We're gonna check it again in 30 minutes. We're looking for 160 degree internal temperature. So I'll check it with an instant read thermometer and see how close we are at that point. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this because I don't have an oven. I got a microwave connection oven. Boy, is that kind of dirty. Um, but I don't have a regular oven and I don't like the convection oven function in that thing. It uses a lot of power and uh, I don't know. I just don't like it, but I love my air fryer. So I was pretty excited to give this a try. We'll see what it looks like in about 30 minutes. Okay, well, here we are. Looking pretty beautiful, actually. Um, and this is... 20 minutes on the underside, and it ended up being 40 minutes on the skin side up. Now the fun part is going to be trying to figure out how to get it out of the basket and onto the cutting board and tent it. So I'm going to work on that. And then it's going to rest for about 10 minutes before we slice it up. Okay, so we here we have our breast all sliced up, but check this out. This is all of the bone and stuff that I pulled out, and there's actually still quite a bit of meat attached here. I'm thinking I might make some turkey soup tomorrow. But doesn't this look beautiful? And I have to admit, I snatched a little piece while I was cutting. Tastes great. I highly recommend this method. Really, really good. I snacked on enough turkey while I was slicing it that I only put a small piece on my plate. But I also roasted some Brussels sprouts and radishes and drizzled them with a little bit of olive oil, uh, a honey ginger balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of salt. Looks pretty good to me. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and always remember to sally forth. Live your best life. Go out and adventure in whatever way works for you.